Good morning, everybody. My name is Bob O'Bannon. I'm pastor of New Life Presbyterian Church, Yorktown, Indiana. And yesterday I dealt with the question of whether this coronavirus pandemic could be God's judgment on the world. And I promised yesterday that today I would deal with the question of whether the pandemic could be God's judgment on the church. Now, that question might strike you as a little bit odd. You might be thinking, why would God judge the church? Um, except that it does say in 1 Peter 4, 17, that judgment begins with the household of God. Judgment begins with the household of God. Christians are notorious for thinking that God is most committed to shaping up um, the world and dealing with and addressing their sinful behaviors. But really, God is most concerned with shaping up his church, shaping up us, molding and sanctifying us as his people. That's his primary concern, actually. Um, now, we might ask the question of, you know, what is it that could be so displeasing to God in the church right now? And, you know, we can think of many potential examples. Uh, there are churches where the gospel is not proclaimed. Uh, there's no proclamation of sin and the need for atonement, no instruction on what Jesus has done on the cross to forgive people of their sins. Um, there are churches where the sanctuaries have been turned into entertainment centers rather than places of of worship. Uh, there are churches that practice same-sex marriages in um, contradistinction to the teaching of God's Word. There are churches that promise health and wealth and prosperity to people who will just simply believe hard enough. Um, these are all things that could warrant God's discipline on the church. And that brings me to another passage, Hebrews 12, 6, which tells us this, and this should be encouraging to us. It says, the Lord disciplines those he loves. So if indeed this is God's discipline or judgment on the church, um, we can have assurance that it is motivated by God's love for us, his desire to mold us and shape us into the likeness of his son. It's part of his effort to finish the work that he started in us. And that is something to be thankful for and to be glad about. God, we do thank you that you're committed to us, committed to your church. And Lord, we pray that you would continue to mold us and shape us and make us like your son, that we might be a powerful witness to the watching world. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, no devotional on Saturday and Sunday, so I'll see you Monday morning.